Hi guys, let's take a quick look on what's new with Shot Tracer, all the key features, and give you best practices and some tips on how to use the app. When you open the app for the first time, you will basically get to the home screen view. This will allow you to either record a new video or import a pre-recorded video to uh, the processing unit that you see right here. We call it the gallery. You also have the chance to change around settings and this will let you change the line thickness, color, but more importantly, it will allow you to um, disable the auto trim exposure time and uh, also open unsupported videos if, if for some reason they don't open for you, you, you might try it using the, that feature right here. Um, let's get right into it and, and, and discuss how you would process and analyze and save a shot tracer video. So basically I want to import a pre-recorded video. I simply press that plus button and um, select the video. It will show up in my gallery view and now I can um, press the um, settings option and I enter the editor. And inside the editor, the first thing I need to do is I just need to select the impact frame. Now this doesn't need to be the exact moment you hit the ball. It just helps the app to understand at what moment it needs to start tracking. So it can be off a few frames, it can be too early, too late, it doesn't matter. Just give it a reference when it should start tracking and you press next, even if it's not perfectly set at the impact. Now what's important here, make sure to use 1080p videos instead of 4K because tra um, tracking is going to take it be much faster and also make sure to use 30 frames per second instead of 60 frames per second again for faster tracking. So now the app has tracked the shot, it will now display what is called the uh, a little animation of the line projected. But you also have a few other options. You can, for example, choose a manual mode where you just draw um, the trajectory yourself, or you can, for example, say uh, that was actually just a divot or a T that you tracked. Um, give me another line option. Give me another tracking option. Most of the time, the number one will be the golf ball, but if for some reason the tracer picked up the golf tee, uh, you might want to check out the other options that have been traced. Now I press next since I've selected the correct trace and from here I can now, for example, change the color of the shot tracer line. I can go into style and make the line thicker or thinner and I can add effects like a disappearing line where the line disappears into the, um, into the background or I can add effects like, let's say I want to do target and I want to change and it's going to pop, be a little pop-up that allows me to, to showcase where the flag was because I can't really see it here on the video and I can add distance but for now it's being, it's manual so you'll put in let's say 128 and I was hitting a, a pitching wedge let's see here PW and this information will then be displayed on the, on the video. Now Keep in mind, if you want to change anything about the, about the auto tracer, like the landing point, you can do it from within the, within the editor, or you can go switch to full screen mode by clicking that button right here, and then you can um, edit all of the line parameters in full screen view. So you can, for example, here on the left side, it allows you to pull down the line in case the ball was found too high in the sky. So for example, if it was tracked too late, you can pull it down. Uh, this allows you right here to increase or decrease the, the trajectory height. And what you see here, the, the line becomes a little bit transparent. And that's for you to really see the ball if you, do, if you go frame by frame. So I'm just clicking uh, through every frame and you can see how the ball is inside, inside the auto trace line. Um, the transparency just helps you to make sure that um, the, the line was tracked correctly, first of all. And then if you want to click or scroll all the way to the peak moment, you can try to see, oh, okay, it was just a little bit higher, so it was just here. Okay, so you match it perfectly and you go back to the editor by um, exiting full screen right here and the editor. The editor for the moment is only in portrait orientation, so keep that in mind. And 
Now you're all good, you could add some special effects like smoke, so a bunch of smoke uh, appears when you hit the ball, the, or rocket effects, shoot out a rocket, uh, the UFO where you just destroy a UFO that suddenly appears. What's cool is you can, uh, um, you can like, simultaneously activate different different effects so you can activate smoke you can activate rocket and ufo so uh in that instance you would basically smack the ball and a huge cloud of smoke would appear a rocket would fly out and hit the ufo and make that explode so there's a lot of things you can play with here uh, but for now we'll focus on on shot tracer another neat feature that i think i should mention is well, let's go back to full screen so you can see it better now you see how the line is actually too high so it's not where the ball landed it's like in the trees but the fact is that i was holding that camera in my hands so my hands were a little shaky uh, we highly recommend using tripods so the camera doesn't move when you film it and tracking is therefore much better but if that happens what we do is when you, when you click that that um, that that uh, fingerprint icon and you select the landing spot it will actually jump to the frame where the ball landed so when you match the landing spot in this frame and release it even though here it's much higher than the landing spot in the exported video because the landing frame is all the way let's let's pull it to the end is all the way here you'll see that that matches actually where the ball landed so obviously the horizon edge is much higher uh, out here so you can see how that makes a difference just a little bit of camera movement while I was recording all right so let's get back to the editor and we're all done here so we'll just press save and during uh, the saving time you can already preview the video and see how it'll come out it's a little uh, GIP file so it's not as smooth but here we go and we can play that video back all right, so here it is. I guess I put on the recording camera right here. I put um, export a little bit too high, so it doesn't look so great, but you get the idea, right? So once we're done here, we can now try out different features. Let's try out some of the new features that we just added to Shot Tracer. Let's try out the Swing Tracer feature. I think a lot of people were very excited when we added Swing Tracer. This gives you a um, like a uh, stroke motion effect of your golf swing. So I have some demos lined up here. So let's see here, swing, chip, putting, slow motion. Yeah, let's use a slow motion video. All right. So here again, we'll press the editor icon right here, and in in this instance, we'll, we'll change that um, for. But for the moment, what you do is. Uh, you would set the moment you hit the ball. If it's not set correctly, you can use the scroller to, to set the moment of impact. Um, in this version I have right here, because that's not the release version, uh, we're still actually using the moment you, you start your takeaway. So, but in, in the app that you are using right now, make sure you select the impact frame and then press next and everything else will be done for you. So you just wanna make sure you you get the moment you strike the ball and Shot Tracer will then trace your swing path completely automatically and you can just watch it while it's while it's tracking. Right? That's pretty cool. You also see some of the ball flight, the divots fly out. Now in this version we still have the tracking that's past the impact frame. Uh, this will be removed. Uh, in the release version so you'll be only able to track until you hit the ball unless you set the impact frame to a later stage and then you'll be able to track all the way until wherever you set the impact frame to be all right so you see a lot of fragments here um, a lot of the golfer's body has been tracked and let's say you want to remove all those unwanted um, artifacts from the video and you just want to have the nice line so you just what you do is you press ed, uh, you press edit and you, you're in editor mode so you can draw on the area that that you want the app to track and ignore all the rest so let's clear that and we can enter into again full screen mode and now let's say i just want this area basically the backswing area to be traced 
uh, in that video. I don't want any of the hands, so I'll cut that area out. So I don't use that. Um, so now all this area that I've marked, um, excluding let's say the golf ball, uh, is going to be traced. None of none of the area that's not been marked will be traced. So uh, we press save again, and you'll see a difference, huge difference right here. So again, make sure you use uh, 120 frames per second videos for the best result because they really give you that beautiful stroke motion effect right here as you can see. And as you can see, the golfer is now perfectly visible. There's nothing uh, that's being tracked inside that area. So it's absolutely perfect. And uh, you can share obviously those videos on Instagram or on YouTube. And they look pretty awesome. Great, now we got that. So let's take a look at the putt tracer, for example, now. Putt tracer will, again, create a stroke motion effect of your putts, so you're able to better see the line how you putt it. So this is already a process video. Let's look at um, how we'll do import a new video. So again, we'll re import a pre-recorded video. I press on the plus button. I have already created files so we can I'll go straight to those videos. So let's see here. We'll use we'll use this button right here as, a, as an as example because there's a lot of things we can talk about here as well. So again, you want to set impact frame. That's the moment when you hit the putt, right? So this is the moment from where we will start tracing. So everything that's from now on uh, is being traced. And let's set the last frame of tracing. So I want to trace the putt all the way to uh, to right here. All right, so when it goes into the hole, let's see here, all right, perfect. So I'll press next. Now we now the app traces it and displays the result right away on the screen. So as you can see again, there's a lot of, lots of artifacts here um, and we will be able to remove those shortly. So we want nothing of that, obviously, in our in our video. And as you can see, we're here. We're using, for example, a portrait orientation video. You can use either. You can use either portrait view or landscape orientation. Whatever is good for you. Both are um, are are possible. Now we go back to edit. Again, we have the, we can we can edit the video here, uh, but we'll edit it in full screen. Just let me let me remove, clear it out and the full screen and I don't want any of those other artifacts to show up in my in my in my track video so I'll just basically slightly paint over the ball roll area so all of that will be ignored oops I shouldn't have done that because now it's going to pick this up too so I'll clear it out and I'll just paint over the area of the roll of the golf ball and now I simply press save and it, it will save that clean version of the video so you won't see any artifacts whatsoever it's just gonna be the beautiful ball roll path that that will be visible and as you can see it just saves the ball roll area fantastic really good here again you want to make sure that those videos are not too long so you don't process the whole video for no purpose um, you can film in portrait or landscape and check it out right on the putt tracer. Yeah, perfect. All right. And obviously the same works with uh, your pitch and your chip shots. So we call it the ball, ball tracer effect. So if you have, for example, a pitch shot, let's uh, check out a, check out a pitch right here. So here are some demo videos. Uh, some chip shots I, I hit and it's gonna be just about the same process as on the putt tracer So the impact frame is set This is the moment where it's gonna start tracking from uh, You can use the scroller again or the scroller at the bottom the buttons or the scroller to set it manually You press next. This is the moment where the ball has stopped moving basically or has landed and you press next again and now the video will save with the ball tracer effect.
you see right here, perfect. Again, some artifacts are being built up, but you can simply remove them by using the edit feature again on that video. So we'll do that right now. We'll edit the video into a nice clean effect where you can only see the ball. None of this will be, will appear, right? So we press edit. We go into full screen. That area we want to be traced out of full screen, press save. And we're saving the video again. So basically now it's uh, saving this clean file over the old, uh, let's say dirty file. So you don't have multiple uh, files that might cause a lot of, um, a lot of space of your phone. So you, you're always saving over the older file. All right, so everything is per perfectly clean. None of the fragments are left. Here you go, that's, that's the ball tracer now, fantastic. Or some putt tracer effect. Great, so that sums it up. These are the key features of the new Shot Tracer app for Android. As you can see, there's still work in process. Uh, we will be updating the whole UI here. So it's gonna give, it, give yourself a nicer and cleaner look. Um, new features are being added every week, so make sure you keep the app updated. Make sure you uh, always look out for those new updates that come in on a weekly basis. If you have any questions, uh, please shoot us an email and our support team is, is great about replying within minutes to you and make sure that they help you solve any issues that you might come around. If you find any bugs, uh, because Android is still in our in our beta pip pipeline, so and the reason why it's still in beta is because we're still adding new features, new features every week to the app. And there's so many different Android devices. We want to make sure that the app is um, stable on every single device. So please let us know if there's any 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 issues, and we'll make sure to fix those right away whenever we get uh, the information from you. Thanks a lot. If you have any questions, like I said give us a shout out and make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks.